Warning, this content is for entertainment and educational purposes only. All right, first question I got up here is from Julian R. Julian asks, I am planning to take test, equipoise, and Andrew Lone cycle for my upcoming growth phase. Since EQ takes a while to kick in, I was thinking about starting with NPP. At what week should I switch from NPP to DECA, if at all, should they be overlapped? Uh, no. <laughs> No, they shouldn't be overlapped. I, just pick one or the other, uh, honestly, man. Really, DECA, the half-life is going to be not that far off from EQ. And, and look, keep in mind these half-lives on these things are not exact. Uh, everybody metabolizes these drugs a little bit differently. Um, I've seen, for equipoise, I've seen anywhere from 10 to 15 days as a half-life. For, for, you know, similar for DECA, I think 7 to 12 days or some shit like that. All the science nerds out there, don't beat me up if I'm wrong about that, but it, it's somewhere in that ballpark. And as you build up doses over time, these things are going to kind of, you know, they're, they're going to taper up on their own. I would not come out of the gate strong with MPP. If you wanted to come with MPP, that's fine, but the DECA is probably going to line up closer with EQ um, if that's the route you want to go. The only compelling reason I can think of using NPP and I have in the past is, in theory, it should be a bit of a faster ester, although I, Kurt talked about where it might not be, um, but the science that I've seen on it, it says that it's somewhere between two and a half to three days, but who the fuck really knows with this stuff? Uh, anyway, I, I would say DECA probably, I would pair up with EQ if you're going to run EQ. Uh, I like to taper up my doses. I don't like to come out of the gate hard with, with the doses Start off small, see what gains you can e eke out, and then slowly taper things up. It's going to take, you know, if we think about it logically, the equipoise, let's say conservatively, let's say it's a 10 day half life. It takes five days for it to, or five half lives for it to fully peak. So we're talking about 50 days. But really, I mean, it, it, at, you know, it's going to, you know, it, it, it's within two or three weeks, you're, you're going to be at, you know, something like 70 to 80% of the peak peak concentration of it so it, it's not going to be as long as you think it is but DECA is going to pair up pretty closely with that if that's the route you want to go but that's probably where I would lean to now MPP I, I for whatever reason I find that I get less side effects from MPP and many people report that um, I remember discussing this with Kurt Havens and Kurt suggested that MPP may not peak as high as uh, as DECA does and may not be as effective. <laughs> That's probably why you don't get uh, the same side effects from it. I, I've grown quite well on MPP in the past. Um, if I were going to run it, I would probably run MPP. Um, I just have tolerated MPP better than DECA in the past, but uh, I mean, they're both nandrolone at the end of the day. Uh, the ester is going to affect the pharmacokinetics of the drug a bit and how I've how you know peak and onset time and, and half life and all that all that jazz, but uh, I would probably I lean towards NPP myself because I, I I just have found I get less side effects from it. But ultimately, it's your choice. Just pick one, run with it. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Deca might make sense as I mentioned earlier, since the half life does pair up uh, pretty closely to equipoise, so they both would be peaking. In similar time frames, they're they're going to be around the same, and just monitor for the typical nandrolone side effects. You know, increased estrogen conversion, increased uh, risk of gyno water retention that that comes along with that. Uh, psychological effects, anxiety, depression, sleeplessness. You know, all the nasty stuff that comes along with, with taking nandrolone. It sounds, sounds enticing to take Nandrolone, right, with, with all those side effects, but just keep an eye on those things and um, taper up slowly with your cycle. Yank it if it doesn't work for you. Yank the Nandrolone if it doesn't work for you. Uh, but the old school, early 2000s bodybuild, bodybuilders, that was the go-to from what I remember from, I don't know, circa 2004, 2005. A lot of guys ran test EQ in DECA. That was the kind of the go-to cycle. Maybe some A-bombs in there. But that's what all the bros ran back in the day. They got big. That was, you know, we didn't have any of this DHB mint. Uh, you know, the trend was around. But you know, a lot of guys didn't run trend except on contest prep. Uh, all, all of these other exotic compounds that people are running these days. But it was all um, pretty simple, basic stuff back then.